And now joining us live from Abuja to speak more on this development is a civil society activist, Jake Hepele. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. All right, with the current ravaging cash crush and the fear of scarcity and other impediments staring eye neck in the face, and do you think the commission is ready for the 2023 elections? Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> from the best of my knowledge, as I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking from the INA Airport. Having interface with uh, decision makers and the election will go as planned. Uh, INEC has a body, even though I'm not supposed to speak for her, but uh, I believe that they are prepared. Uh, I know, uh, being a friend of uh, the Commission, that they have had interface with the CBN and several organizations and, uh, around the issue of cash uh, crunch. Uh, we will overcome this. Uh, the election will hold as planned. And now talking about the polling units, the congestions, what impact do you think the process will have on, on exposed to voters in the rural areas who might not maybe be aware of the new voting system or let me say centers? I, I think I have done uh, well in informing the electorate about the movement. Uh, those that they have migrated to the uh, polling centers. Uh, I am aware that INEC is going the extra mile to send text messages, uh, text messages to them, uh, contacting them. Uh, and of course, uh, with this development, we're sure to make sure that those who have been migrated to a different polling unit uh, will be aware of where they are supposed to vote. Um, let me also use this opportunity to speak to my community, which is the community of persons with disability, that they will be pertinent uh, and go at least a day before uh, to where they are supposed to vote and check to see that their names are there uh, so that they don't show up on the day of the election and they will not be able to vote. So it's important that they check, you know, the various polling units where they're supposed to vote to make sure that they haven't been migrated. If they do that and you're migrated, it's easier for you to find where you should vote. All right, well, the challenges are had. What will you be telling Arnek at this point in terms of, you know, how to go about these logistical exercises for the election? Well, um, um, I believe that INEC uh, is doing our best um, to uh, show how prepared that they are. Any stone on top, don't take anything for granted. Uh, ensure that you do the needful, pre check everything that you're supposed to do, uh, double check what you're supposed to do. As we speak, uh, I'm aware that sensitive material distribution is ongoing. Um, including materials for persons with disability. Um, have been, most of them have gotten to the various locations and we will keep monitoring development and where there are lapses, we will bring it to the attention of the authority. The good thing is that um, Professor Mahmoud and his commissioners have a listening ear. And I'm saying this uh, with all uh, uh, due conscience, you know, uh, knowing fully well that I don't, I don't have to benefit anything from my neck to present the truth. This is the true situation. All right, before I let you go, like I said, you're at INEC office. But looking at um, the way things are running, do, do you think, or will you say, how many percent will you score INEC right now against Saturday? Well, um, I would say uh, a marginal, uh, I think 60%, uh, knowing what I know, um, the level of preparation, you know, um, I think 
I would say sixty uh, percent. Sixty percent. Okay. Uh, the remaining forty percent is something that yes, uh, six zero, six zero. All right. Thank you very much for being part of the news. Thank you, and please give my love to your founder, who is a good friend of mine. I haven't seen him for years. All right. God bless you. All right. And that was Jake Apelle, a civil society activist.